This is James Kendrick with ZDNet Mobile News, and I have in front of me two very different machines. I've got the Chromebook Pixel, the very expensive but very nice Chromebook from Google, and I've got on the left the NVX2 Windows 8 Hybrid Touch Touch Computer. It uh, very nice machine. It's an Atom processor. It's not the fastest in the world, but it's perfect for what I want to show you today. And that is the ability to control a Windows 8 PC anywhere in the world using the uh, Google Remote Desktop app in Chrome, which will work in any Chrome browser, but especially here on the Chromebook Pixel. And so what I'm gonna do is turn this around where you can see a little better with no glare and I'm gonna run the uh, Chrome desktop app I've already set up through the Chrome browser on both of these devices the ability to use the uh, remote desktop app from Google now the Envy is showing up here on my available menu and then it's going to ask me for a pin and it's very good every computer every every computer that you want to control from Chrome remote desktop app has to have its own secure pin number and I'm going to block the screen while I while I enter it in just for keeping my thing safe and now it's connecting and boom as you can see this unique configuration of having the two machines side by side and we're um, literally right next to each other but they could be anywhere in the world and you can see I'm now scrolling it using the the Chromebook Pixel trackpad so you can get an idea there's a little bit of a lag but not too bad because I have a pretty good uh, internet connection here and it literally controls that machine through this browser now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this full screen just to give us the full advantage now one one caveat this is a touch screen but apparently the Google remote desktop app only handles single touch so you can't do all of the fancy stuff that you can do on the Envy's touch screen uh, like getting the charm bar out as you say it, uh, it it shows up over here but you can't invoke it like that but that's okay because all of the standard Windows touchpad gesture controls are operative now what I'm gonna do here if you'll excuse me for a minute I'm gonna zoom in on just the the, the main pixel screen so you can get a good look at what it's doing here I may just bring it up slightly to we can really zoom in nice now as you see from the pixel screen which is now displaying the Windows 8 screen on the Envy the live tiles are updating smoothly I'm really impressed with how how smoothly this whole thing works with the with the touchpad which I'm activating right now now it's pretty cool because you can run anything like for example if you need to run Internet Explorer on your Chromebook pixel now you can through the remote desktop and it works really 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 nicely I'm actually two fingers scrolling on the trackpad it's working just fine 
Now, one thing that's missing is you don't have a Windows key to get back to the desktop. But what you can do is control escape, which toggles between running apps. So that's that's pretty cool. Now let's do something really cool. Let's run Google Chrome on the desktop. This is my, my Windows 8 desktop. And now it's firing up Chrome and all my tabs opening. And then once once it's all open, which there's like five of them, five tabs and sites that it's opening. As you can see, I'm scrolling with the trackpad, and that works. Now there, are, like I said, single touch is supported. So, like for example, if I would need to run the file manager. In Windows 8, oops, I didn't hit it quite clearly. I can fire it up that way, and then I can touch on the pixel screen to operate that way. It's actually pretty cool. Now, I can't scroll. I don't have any multi-touch, but, that, but that's all right. And then I can close that. So I can run. I'm now running a, a, the Evernote desktop app on the NV in Windows 8 displaying here on the pixel just fine you see scrolling is actually fluid it's handling video great now I haven't tested audio it supposedly is redirecting redirecting all audio from the NV now over to the pixel and again if I want control escape get me back to the to the desktop where I'm free to run it handles metro both metro apps and desktop apps it fine it's it's just redirecting the screen from my Windows 8 system wherever it might happen to be in the world to the, the Chromebook pixel here and it's really really fluid I mean this is very usable and the reason that I chose the Envy to test is because it only has the Atom processor that's not the the fastest nor best processor for running Windows 8 to begin with but you can see this this is working just fine even in a remote desktop scenario so it's actually pretty cool now I can get for example, the charms bar by hitting, I'm moving my cursor up to the window. You see the charms controls are activated. Get to settings if you want to. Get back out. You can get to your desktop from this upper left corner. Go back to the metro interface for doing our standard stuff. Go to the photos app. Boom. Worked pretty fast. Let's see what we've got in the picture library. Ooh, who's that guy? I could scroll horizontally using the trackpad. It just works very, very well. Anything you can do in Windows 8, you can control remotely with the, the Google Remote Desktop app in any Chrome browser session. But it works particularly well on the Chromebook Pixel, I'm finding. And I'm, I'm really enjoying how well this thing works. So this has been James Kendrick with ZDNet Mobile News with a look at controlling a Windows 8 system using the Chromebook Pixel and the Google Remote Desktop app.